So last night we had an excellent dinner. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. We got pretty good stuff going on up here. Wow. Cool. So we did a little video log. I, I, oh, nice. We do a lot of flowers and a rosemary bush right here. Probably a couple gallons of peppers and we made our own pot sauce with it. This okay. is Corwin What's right What's up guys? Here. How are you? Nice dude. You're nice. killing it right now. You're helping us out with everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty awesome spot here. So Corwin told us all the places to go and uh, that's what we're doing today. Or tomorrow. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, you got it. Waiter Corwin gave us a ton of different ideas, so we're trying to do everything on St. John in one day. Yeah. It's on our way to the Reef Bay Trail. We're gonna take the drone up and show you my grandparents' old house. Holy shnikes. They went nuts with this place. It was a cute little three bedroom place that my grandfather built, and now it's this like huge villa. Holy sh. That house is huge, babe! Yeah. Wow. What a difference. Uh, they lived there for 28 years, right here. Looking out on Great Cruise Bay, and then over here on Chocolate Hole. Chocolate? Yep. Nice. Pretty rad. On to something else? Yeah. We put that in there because it's really important to have like future goals like that. So honey, wouldn't it be sick to have a place down here someday? So sick. I so, think that's a trail. Okay, right there. You're gonna get a sick B-roll shot if you get up there and do something rad. How you doing, Bambi? You having a good day? Don't mind us, we're just going over here. Look at that cutie. Cutie. Hey, doll. Wow, so cute. So it's like cute. a tiger. The fluffy thing. It looks delicious, huh? It does. Everybody wants the fluffy thing. <laughs> So we're in the petroglyphs pool right now. So we have a few of these different petroglyphs here. That looks like a monkey. <laughs> these petroglyphs are actually quite ancient. Archaeologists say they could be over a thousand years old crafted by the Tejido Indians. What do you want to do next? Ice coffee. Ice coffee and maybe some beaches. We're not sure what to order, but since Lynn wants to do ice coffee, we're probably gonna get that first. <laughs> oh, so true. No coffee yet. Hang in there. We made it. Coffee soon. Yeah. That was two hours. That was way longer than expected. And now what's next? Beach, okay. bikini. Hey, which way to the beach? This way? Hachi, <laughs> what's that? I wanna have a donkey. <laughs> Perfect. Like instead of a pony? Yeah. A donkey. <laughs> That was not a run into the water. But I have a ring on. Okay, again. <laughs> How's the shade treating you? Really well. <laughs> so is the Sam. I like don't even know how to fix this. Perfect. Pretty stoked that our ride is still here. I don't know what that was, but should I do something cooler? Yeah, definitely. Woo! Next up, Dennis Beach. Hmm. We're taking a random trail. We have no idea where this is going. 
I am not sure if this is right. I have no idea. Okay. So it looks like we're getting to a beach. I don't know. This is looking less good. However, we're still going down, except for here. We're going up. The one thing we know is if this is going to a beach, it's going to be amazing, and there's going to be no one there. Yes. Starting to see a little bit of water. Yes. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! So this looks like the best beach, actually. Welcome to paradise. Yeah, you gotta do oh, like- Oh, look at that. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. On to the next. Yes. Next up, Hawk's Nest. The reason this place is so badass is because the Rockefellers were here. The Rockefellers were one of like the richest American families. And this is Keneal Bay. This is this was their compound right here, which you can see. It's usually that's a five-star resort. And what they did is they donated this massive land piece. So 75% of St. John is a national park. And that's why this place is so cool. There's only 5,000 people that live here. So it's like such a mecca for fun things and not too many people. As a kid, this was always my favorite. I don't know why. I just really like this one. Looks like another epic beach. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Are we kind of done with epic beaches? Yeah, we have to take a uh, swim here. Yes, definitely. Benny one on Hawk's Nest Dive. Let's float. Look at that. Nope, they don't float. Flex. Suck it in. <laughs> I am not that fit, babe. And that is our last stop of the epic beach journey. We did check out one yesterday, Cinnamon Bay. We'll, uh, we'll show you that, and then we'll go back home and... Get ready for a sunset. Yeah, that sounds nice. Welcome to Cinnamon Bay. This place is pretty destroyed. Um, there's actually a campground right in the back that you're gonna see from the drone footage and that's where we were trying to stay because uh, it was gonna be super cheap, babe. Yeah. But we can't do that, of course. As you can see, it's fully closed, but the water is still amazing and that brilliant turquoise. We should go swimming, huh? We should. You gonna dive in? Did you lose us? <laughs> awesome. It was all off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to end this vlog with that. <laughs>